Get your free trial of our training for lawyers at www.teachucomp.com forward slash lawyers. Once you have a digital ID, you can then send encrypted email. Note that before you can send encrypted email, you must first send the recipients of your encrypted email a digitally signed mail message so that they can add your digital signature to their contacts folder. This signature will then allow these recipients to read the unencrypted version of your email. People who do not have a copy of your digital ID will see encrypted, jumbled text instead of the content of your email. That way, only people who have a copy of your digital ID can see the content of your email, guaranteeing mail security. Also note that this encryption process will encrypt the content of any attachments that are sent with the encrypted mail message. If you need to learn more about digital IDs, please read the previous section, 5.1, Using a Digital ID, within this chapter. To send an encrypted email to a recipient who has a copy of your digital ID, you can simply create a new email message and then click the Encrypt Message Contents and Attachments button that's located on the Options tab in Outlook 2013 through 2010 or on the Options button group on the Message tab in Outlook 2007 that's shown within the Email Message window. Note that if you do not see this button, you can click the dialog box launcher button in the lower right corner of the more options or options button group to open the properties dialog box. Here you can click the security settings button. In the security settings dialog box, check the encrypt message contents and attachments checkbox. Then click the OK button until you return to the message window. You can then create the content of the message add any attachments needed, and send the message as you normally would. If you wish to only send encrypted email by default, you can change the settings in Outlook to allow this. However, you should note that any recipients must have a copy of your digital ID in order to read your email messages. To do this in Outlook 2013 through 2010, you would click the File tab and then click the Options button. In the Options dialog box, select the Trust Center. Under Microsoft Outlook Trust Center, click the Trust Center Settings button. Then click the Email Security button. If you're using Outlook 2007, select Tools and then Trust Center from the menu bar instead. In the Trust Center window, then click the Email Security button. Under the Encrypted Email section, select the Encrypt Contents and Attachments for Outgoing Messages checkbox. Note that if you need to make changes here, such as selecting a specific digital ID to use for encryption, you can click the Settings button to make a digital ID selection. Now when finished, you can then click the OK button to save your changes until you return to the main Outlook window. Like what you see? Get your free trial of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash lawyers.